Hello everyone, Easy here from OneTechStop.net and here is my unboxing video for the HTC One A9. So I've got here HTC's probably mid-range flagship device that was announced a couple of months ago. Um, it is available on all the major carriers in the USA. Uh, this is the at t version, as you can see, with the white and orange. Really exciting about the box, uh, your standard. Uh, what is exciting, rather, is what's inside the box. I'm going to pop this open real quick here. And inside you have your usual quick start guide. Um, a nice flyer here from, AT from HTC, a print studio of some sort. Uh, quick go and how to transfer your contacts to the phone. Just going to put that aside. And you have the A9. Take a look at the phone in a bit, see what else is in the box. Um, you've got your, you know, regular SIM tray key there. Uh, literature, a bunch of literature, more literature and stuff put that away and uh, uh, there are no headphones just your USB charger and your USB cable uh, micro USB uh, this device does not come with the latest USB type C I'm um, still the old traditional uh, micro USB cable charger and that's what's in the box and let's take a look at the actual A9 here uh, for a mid-range device, it does have mid mid-range specs. Um, it's it's borderline high-end, borderline mid-range. Um, the build quality of the phone does scream high-end device, but what's inside uh, defines a mid-range device. So let's see if I can pop this open here. Let's see. Uh, sure. There you go. Let me take off the plastic. And here you have the A9. It's a really nice looking device. First thing you notice is iPhone. iPhone is screaming iPhone actually right in your face because this is uh, an exact replica of iPhone 6, iPhone 6S. You see the uni um, metal body there. Uh, aluminum even the uh, antenna design is exactly like the iPhone 6 uh, success the only difference here is the camera module is at the center with the flash if you have an iPhone that would be at the corner on the laptop corner there um, but everything else is the same it is bigger than the iPhone 6 um, I'll probably throw in a comparison video in the near future just to compare but it is quite plain to see how uh, this is an exact copy of the iPhone. HTC just say um, that rather I, um, Apple copied their design as they were the first to put an all metal phone but that is off for debate um, and that's that. Uh, what's inside the phone is really light uh, measures about 149 grams and uh, yeah it's really light uh, the thickness it's 7.3 millimeters thick. On the side, you have your power button there and your volume rockers. It's on the right side, uh, as is most traditionally found on most uh, smartphones today. At the top, there is nothing there. It does look like it has an IR blaster uh, that is really common with HTC flagship or smartphones. On the side, you've got your uh, SIM tray. It does use the Nano SIM. And it's got a micro SD card slot right there. So um, the key I showed you earlier, that's where you used to pop those open. At the bottom, you've got your speakers, got your micro SD um, USB plug connector, a microphone there, and you got a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So um, at the back, you've got the uh, 30 megapixel camera. It can record in 4K. Remember, this is a mid-range device, so when I go through the specs, you want to keep that in mind because it's really confusing how some of the specs on this are screaming high-end, 
it's a mixture of both it's borderline mid-range borderline um high end so yeah i could say you got a 13 megapixel 4k recording camera up there autofocus with a dual led flash right there it has ois optical image stabilization autofocus is on board too uh can record also 1080p 720p in 30 frames per second the front facing camera right here you can see that it is a 4 megapixel camera can record also in 1080p hd quality so um that's a quick run through of the specs um the battery is not removable uh but the battery is a so it's a 2150 milliamp battery, it's 2150 milliamp battery, which is quite small. But then again, um, it has to power up the Snapdragon 617 processor in it. So it's not really one of the high end 800 series like the 808 or the 810 processors. This is a uh, quad core uh, 1.2 gigahertz Snapdragon 617 processor the graphics card on this is an adreno 405 um the, the glass up here is the gorilla glass 4 so say it's scratch resistant i'm not about to test that but yeah so looking at the specs the processor in it with the uh kind of makes sense why the battery is a tad small from but then again remember this is a mid-range device and uh yeah so i'm just going to turn it on nice screen there the screen is a 5.0 it's a 5 inch screen um, it's a hd display uh, has 441 ppi as a pixel density so expect the uh for a 5 inch screen um, the pictures should be crispy and sharp um this is running android's latest 6.0 marshmallow codename uh and that is what's inside and the device is really nice to hold. I love the feel of it. It's really nice. Like if you love the iPhone 6, but you wanted it to run Android and have a slightly bigger screen, then this is obviously your best option. If you're an iPhone user, probably the iPhone 6, 6S, and you're tired of the iOS ecosystem, you can jump on board uh, the A9 here because it's exactly... Um, the same feel to it so if you don't want to compromise on how the iphone feels but you want to use android then this is your go-to device here um what's interesting about this device is it has two versions um inside you've got the internal storage 16 gig with 2 gig ram combination or you can buy the higher higher spec 32 gig internal storage with 3 gig ram so there are two versions. I'm not sure what version I have here. It doesn't say it on the box. Uh, there is no indication of that on the box. So we'll probably have to turn this on, go through the settings to see what combination I've got here. But those are your two um, different uh, combinations or options you can get with this device. Uh, it has, it's supposed to dual band Wi-Fi, uh, all the major uh, Wi-Fi bands uh, A, B, G, N, A, C, even the latest AC is supported here. Uh, it does have the quick charge where you can charge your battery from 0 to 50% in about 30 minutes. So that is a quick charge 2.0 that is supported. It also supports quick charge 3.0. So those are good options. Um, different color options. This is the uh, carbon gray option. You can get this in silver, gold. Or garnet this is like um, really red color but yeah uh, that's gonna sell once that's done we'll come back and talk more about the Android software and what else so while setting it up here is the setting up your fingerprint so all you got to do is put your thumb whatever And there, so it set that up. Set up a pin.
So you want to set up an alternative to logging on to the phone in case the fingerprint doesn't work. And the phone's fully set up. So as you can see it's running um, the HTC Sense 7 is it? Not entirely sure you've got your blink feed when you swipe to the left here you can customize what kind of information you get here and uh, you know this is um, HTC's Sense 7 I believe I'm not sure if it's 6 or 7 but um, this is running under Android Marshmallow 6.0 let's see um what version what option we've got here i believe this is the 32 gig 3 gig ram version so we go to memory and total memory 2.7 so obviously this is the 3 gig ram version with 32 gig internal storage as you can see there right off the box it's already used 8.3 gig out of the 32 gig you can always get a micro sd card um, that supports up to 200 gig um, most uh, micro SD cards you find in market are the 128 gig, but this supports up to 200 gig, which is slowly making its way into the market right now. So, yeah, that is a quick look um, at the. See if I can launch the camera here. Just quick, show you what the 13 megapixel camera looks like. So as you can see. It's really nice pictures taking real fast it's how fast it takes pictures so yeah we'll be doing a quick review of the HCC A9 um, you want to subscribe to this channel and uh, stay tuned thanks for watching